Hey everyone, welcome to Fairy Pick a Card. We have three cards here. Only one card per pile has been pre-selected. We have Amethyst for Pile 1, Citrine for Pile 2, and Aqua Aura Quartz for Pile 3. All three crystals can be found on my website as a crystal wire wrap necklace. So take a moment and choose which pile you resonate with, which crystal you resonate with, and I will put the timestamps below. So just take a moment and pick a card. Okay, great. We're going to start with pile one, Amethyst. Let's see what we have here. Sun. Oh, interesting. This might be a fairy spirit baby reading. So let's see what we have here. Let's get some clarification. So your spirit baby and the fairies want you to know that you are very intuitive. You have the priestess, the high priestess here. You're very intuitive. You know what's coming. Um, some of you, your intuitive abilities may be starting to develop. So you're going through a transition period, um, kind of like puberty. It's like spiritual puberty. That's kind of what's going on here. So you may be getting more signs from the fairies, from the spirit babies, your spirit team, and you're kind of like, what is going on? And it's definitely coming quickly. Even though you may be a little um, stressed out or overwhelmed at this time with this transition, know that you're moving into calmer waters. So, you know how they say it's the calm before the storm? They're talking about the calm after the storm. That's what this message is about. Let's see about the sun, though. The four of pentacles. Your spirit baby is kind of disheartened at this time because they have a lot they want to say to you, but they're either not allowed to or it just isn't time for them to come forward yet. This is kind of a, uh, hey, hello, how's it going? I'm here introduction. Um, there's a lot that they want to say, but they have to hold back for now. Um, let's see what guidance they have for you though, regarding communication. Again, it might just be because the spirit baby doesn't want to overwhelm you. Um, which means that you have other things that you need to attune your abilities towards, such as um, speaking to the archangels, for example, or getting to know your personal spirit guides. So even though your spirit baby wants to come forward and talk to you ASAP, there's a lineup and your baby doesn't like waiting, but that's okay. It's part of life, right? Being patient is a part of life. Yep. It's all about that strength. Um, working towards his patience, but also strength within yourself as well. It may be a, a very difficult, unnerving time, but you have the inner strength. You have the inner knowing to help you get through this. Get one last card for pile one. Ten of swords in reverse. A cycle is definitely ending. A new beginning is on the horizon. Um, if you are feeling a bit stressed or overwhelmed, know that this too shall pass. It feels like you're at the home stretch, you know, you're almost at that finish line. I can see you crossing it and your spirit baby, along with your spirit team will be there to celebrate you and all of your success. So don't worry too much. Try to take some deep calming breaths, practice some self care, um, and if you are looking for more clarification regarding this message, I recommend ordering my spirit guide reading. I'll put the link below because you might be able to get some more information there. If you want to get a spirit baby reading, that's definitely okay as well. But again, remember that your spirit baby can't talk right now. They have a lot to say, but they're not going to be able to go into detail with their messages because it's not quite time for you to receive that clarity, but you can definitely keep that in the back of your mind. So I'll put those links below. Now we're moving on to pile two, 
Citrine. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. This is great. I love this so much with the crystal as well. Because Citrine is all, um, it's all about joy, happiness, abundance. So you are very abundant. New opportunities, new beginnings are coming your way. Let's get them. Yes, we got the King of Pentacles, first tarot card to clarify. The King of Pentacles is the retirement card. He is very abundant, successful. He's secure in his power. Um, and this is you. You are making that money. If you have a business or you want to get a promotion or something like that, a raise, it is definitely coming. There's a, it's a new world right now. It's a new year, right? Um, and it's a new astrological year. So there's a lot of abundance coming your way. It feels like this year is your year. 2020 is your year, group B or group two. What else? Whoop. We have temperance. Balance is coming your way. Um, you've been manifesting something for a while now, and it's finally coming into the 3D. You're going to be able to see it and hold it. It's going to be tangible. You've been patient. You've passed all the tests and triggers. You've learned your lessons. It's definitely coming. Um, it feels like it's going to be happening unexpectedly too, because she's not looking straight on in the card. She's not looking at you. It's almost, there's a lot of like sly energy here, like not in a bad way. It's just the fairies being like, yeah, it's coming, but we're gonna, we're gonna make sure that you don't see it coming. Um, but a lot of abundance is definitely coming your way. Justice balance. You have two balance cards here. If some of you have felt like you weren't getting that recognition that you deserve at work, um, let's say that someone, like a coworker, took your idea and brought it to the boss and they took all the recognition and you're kind of like, what the hell, man? That was my idea. Like, I suggested that. Or you're doing a lot of the work for your department and nobody is giving you the credit. They're just taking it for themselves. Yeah, it feels like that's not going to be happening anymore because justice is coming. Karma is coming. Um, karma is coming to stand up for you to make sure that uh, you're no longer being pushed around by all these other people or energies because you are standing up for yourself but if you don't have an ally on your team then it's harder for your voice to be heard right so keep doing what you're doing speak your truth and know that karma and the universe is coming and they will be supporting you let's get one more card for group two. We have the six of cups. Reunions are coming. Connecting to children, perhaps connecting with childhood friends. Um, this can be read in a, a ton of different ways. Um, so this is a general reading, just keep that in mind. But if I was reading this for romance, it feels like your partner is coming. They're feeling very secure. They want to bring in that balance. If you see how they're both looking at each other, this is your partner. This is you. You can't see what's coming, but your partner is coming. Six of Cups would be the reunion card. Now, if this was being read for spirit babies or conception, adoption, anything like that, goodbye to the old, hello to the new. It is definitely coming. King of Pentacles is telling you that you are finally feeling stable, secure, both emotionally and financially, even spiritually. Both Justice and Temperance are twin cards, if I'm reading this for Spirit Babies. And the Six of Cups is Reunion, connecting to children. So if you're looking at this from a Spirit Baby perspective, um, conception, adoption, or other means of having a child will be coming forth in the next few months. Um, new clarity is coming your way, good news, different, different procedures or, um, like I'm thinking of fertility treatments, but also surrogacy, adoption, fostering, like a lot of that will be coming up in different ways. Um, but that's all messages from your spirit baby. So that is pile number two. Now, 
Pile number three, Aqua Aura Quartz. Pregnancy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, if you haven't watched the whole video, a lot of you should because they're so... It's, this is a fairy reading, but so many spirit babies have come through today. Okay. Pregnancy. Um, I'll read it from two different viewpoints. I'll read it from a general fairy viewpoint and then a spirit baby one. So pregnancy for fairies would just mean that you're very abundant and you're about to birth a new beginning into your life. And it's going to be happening quickly with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is all about action. They are determined to um, fight for what they want, to work hard for what they want. They're very fiery and passionate. Nine of Swords, you may be a little worried about what's going on here. Like, what is it that you're birthing? Is it a new job? Is it a new business, a promotion? Um, maybe you're winning the lottery, whatever the case is. You're worried because you want this to happen and you want it so badly that you just, you don't want to expect anything in case it doesn't manifest and then you lose hope, right? But the fairies are telling you not to think in this way, to give your worries to the fairies and to your spirit team because success is in your future. It is coming. You're going to be victorious. The card that flipped. Ten of Pentacles, yes. This is the Abundance card. It's um, the Partnership card, too. So if you're hoping to start a new business with a partner or if you want to um, have a new romantic partner or, like, start dating or get married, something like that, you're birthing that into, the, into existence, it's going to be successful. Oh, you also have the Empress at the bottom of the deck, another pregnancy card reminding you that you are abundant you are birthing this into existence you're also very creative and you're going to leave a legacy it doesn't matter what you do you're going to leave a legacy so don't worry too much on the if ands and buts and just go with the flow and trust that the universe and your spirit team has your back so now for the spirit baby message with pregnancy pregnancy and the knight of wands telling me that your spirit baby is coming. They are definitely coming. Um, they're on their horse riding into the sunset. Like they are like coming home. That's what they're telling me. Nine of swords. You may be a bit worried about conception. You either have um, some fertility issues. You probably tried to conceive and it wasn't fruitful. Or you're just worried about having a baby. Maybe you're already pregnant and you're watching this and you're like, oh my gosh, can I have a child, can I raise a child? So with these fears, your baby is telling you like, hey, don't worry. We've both agreed to it. It's in both of our book of lives. It's going to work out. We're going to be successful. You may have these worries now and that's totally understandable because you are a spiritual being having a human existence, but trust. Trust in divine timing, the universe, in yourself. You can do this, okay? Trust in your baby. It's all going to work out. The family life, Ten of Pentacles also represents family, the 3D family specifically. The family life that is currently creating that you will birth into this lifetime is going to be successful. It's going to be abundant. You don't have to worry about that, okay? And again, the Empress, the other pregnancy card. This is the Divine Mother. Your baby is telling you that you can do it. You have that power. They believe in you. Um, and your higher self believes in in you too. You are this empress. Embrace your empress energy. Don't give away your power. Once you fully embrace the empress, yourself, your higher self, the nine of swords, your worries are going to go away. So you don't have to worry about that. And know that your baby is here for you, okay? Um, just call on them whenever you feel stressed or worried. They will be there to hold your hand and guide you. So that is pile three. If you want to order a Spirit Baby reading, I will leave the link below. It's very interesting that Spirit Babies came up in all three messages, even though this is a fairy reading. They are best friends, so I mean, it makes sense. So that is the fairy pick a card reading. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will talk to you soon.